I'm sorry, you need this, you need this table when? 300 years? Thank you very much. I hold the received items in my arms. I'm recording, right? Yeah. The bread's aroma feels nostalgic as I recall that feeling when I used to harvest wheat in autumn. I can't help myself from wolfing down both loaves of bread and downing an entire bottle of water as I make my way back. Whew, cool. The loaves of bread aren't big, but they serve their intended purpose, and the taste is so-so. Oh, the so-so, not so-so good. I consider them passable, and even better at filling a person's stomach. Now that I have solved my hunger problem, my mood is considerably better. I'm even humming a tune about my hometown. That is a wonderful path. Oh, <clears throat> that is a wonderful path in the mountains, y'all. Just when I'm about to return to my room where Yila is resting. This game, man. <sighs> oh. Sorry. I notice a nurse is pushing a trolley filled with blood packs along the corridor. I should take a look, too. Oh, are we gonna be stealing the blood? Are we gonna steal blood? I act as if I'm going in the same direction as the nurse and follow her slowly, not creepy at all. The nurse stops before a door at the end of the corridor, then she takes out a bunch of keys in her possession, selects a key, sorry, uses it on a keyhole at the door before opening it and pushes the trolley inside. Shari. My sister is texting me. Looks like it is this place. Although I have no idea how Yila is going to get your hands on a blood pack. Information about this place is very important. I have more or less helped her to check on things. Let's hurry back to plan on our next step. <laughs> ring a ling. I hum a little tune and return to the room. No, I'm mimicking you. If you think that's a pig, ooh -hoo -hoo, that's on you. Yila is already up from her chair. Seems she's rested enough. This is a little dirty from my hometown. Why, we would... Diddy. This is a little ditty from my hometown. We would always sing whenever we prepared any food. Okay, I ate the bread, and thank you for telling me that my singing is awful. I will work. I will fix. I will. I will fix it. My my singing will be heard from everyone, whether they want to or not. I have eaten them. This bottle is for you. A vampire might not be able to eat our food, but drinking water should be no problem. Well, I'm glad I'm doing something. She downs the entire bottle after receiving it. I guess she's also parched for a long time. I guess she's also parched for a long time and has been relying on her saliva to keep going. By the way, I almost forgot. I also went to see where they stored their blood packs, and I saw them bring those to that room at the end of the corridor. <laughs> thank you, thank you. See, she, she's look at this positive reinforcement. This is how this is how it is. Yila smiles slyly, and her fangs glint in such a way it would probably give anyone the creeps. What do you plan to do? <laughs> Oh wait, I'm sorry, that was it? I swear to god, I thought it was gonna be a lot more. <laughs> Dude, I swear. I hope this is Japanese. Japanese words, sentences, they are totally weird to me. <laughs> I, I mean that in the most polite way, by the way. I mean that in the most polite way. <laughs> of course I'm going to see if I can help myself to a few there, right? How are you going to do it then? I saw the room was locked, and the nurse had the key. What are you going to do? Huh? Ah! Yeah, yeah, look at her! Look at her, she's finally thinking about something. Thinking things through. Hila shuts her eyes in deep thought, and a long strand of hair gently hangs down that unnaturally white skin. 
まずは看護師を始末して鍵を手に入れなきゃ I'm sorry down a nurse She is just is she casually talking about killing a nurse? She is such a pretty girl. What a shame. What a shame she said something monst monstrous the minute she opened her mouth. She's quite likely to hurt a fellow human if she really goes ahead with her plan. Should I help or stop her when the time comes? But if we can't get any blood today here, it will be hard for her to suppress the urge to suck an innocent person's blood, and it might even lead to more uncontrollable accidents. Perhaps she'd rather starve to death. If that happens, I will also turn into a heap of bones instantly. So I probably should be helping her get some blood, huh? Sigh. We really are in a difficult spot. I keep looking at her face while wild thoughts are swirling through my head, waiting for her to say something. Finally, she opens her eyes and meets my gaze. Oh, yes, hello. I'm, I'm still here. The mood between us feels a little awkward. Huh? Have you decided on it? I ate two loaves of bread. I don't know how big loaves are here, but I'm sure it wasn't filling. Not yet, anyway. Hasn't expanded in my stomach yet. No, no. I'm just worried. Yeah, again, settled how? What are you gonna do? Eh, is that so? Will she die? But aren't vampires technically monsters? So you are a monster, but you're not calling yourself a monster. I don't think she understands what's going on here. Isn't a vampire kind of monster? See, exactly. Raylan knows what's going on here. What if... We get spotted by others. There are people moving along the corridors outside. Oh, look at us. We're gonna we're gonna be case in this joint. Uh alright. Since I am her partner in crime, I can only follow her instructions at this point. It does say that, doesn't it? I'm sure somewhere. Yila points to a sign at the foyer. I mean, there still could be a security guard, someone working a little late with blood and whatnot. But the nurses will also knock off work by then. Exactly. Also, should we be talking about this still inside the blood bank? <laughs> I don't think we should. And a vampire. Isn't it already dark outside? Alright. So, we hang around the waiting area in the foyer until the night sky envelops the city outside. It is 7.50pm now. The blood bank will close in 10 minutes time, and we have stopped attending to any new inquiries. Please leave the premises immediately. Oh, that is the speaker talking, not me. Suddenly, a clear voice booms from all directions in the foyer, giving me a fright. And two men in black uniforms with batons begin to drive away the people around the lobby. They must be the blood bank security guards. Go, go! We're closing! The people sitting or lying around in the foyer get up re obediently and leave the blood bank one after another. <laughs> yeah, I was probably assuming that. Let's find a place to hide. Again, can we be a little quiet? Um, Hide in the restroom. Find any room to hide. I feel as though... Okay, this is the first real choice. I, I I don't know if any of these choices actually have any consequences. But this is the first one. Wait a minute. I remember this. This thing has a flowchart. Ooh. Oh. 
Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Okay. So, these things do have choices, and it appears they also have early endings. Oh my god, I've been so... I've been 50 50 these things, and choosing those correct ones. Oh dear god. <laughs> um... Find any room to hide in. This one seems like the right one. I could be wrong. One way to find out. There are so many rooms around here. We should find an empty room and hide inside. And plus, a restroom is much more small, and there's only so many places you could hide in there. Whereas any other room we find, oh, well, there could be so many things to hide, hide in. We cross the foyer to find an empty room that isn't locked and hide inside. The room doesn't have anything else save for a table at the center and a few bookshelves at the side. <laughs> It does look like a nice table, right? It looks like it's got like its own installed uh, cabinet thing. It looks nice. I wouldn't use it though. Personally, I wouldn't use it. Hmm. It would take a carpenter at least five years experience to make such a table. I nod in agreement. Yeah. Probably took him like two weeks though. <laughs> Gila studies the table, and seems rather pleased with it. I'm sorry, did you place an order for 300 years in the future? I can only imagine what the carpenter is thinking. Like, hello sir, I'd like your finest table and he's like oh oh I, I, absolutely I, I must warn you it is gonna take me a little bit to get it ready uh you're gonna have to give me like a few months to find the proper wood another like month or two to figure out the plan and they're like absolutely don't worry take your time i need this thing ready in 300 years i'm sorry you need this you need this table when 300 years I got some time to slack off. How much you paying for this table? Could you pay right now? Three? <laughs> Maybe. She's saying it in disappointment. Missy, you sure know how to enjoy life. We will not do that because we are here for blood, not tables. No, no, no. Although you said we, I'm sure I will be the only person doing all the hard work myself. You want me to carry this table by myself? You have any idea how that how heavy that thing probably is? I ain't carrying it. No. No, thrall or not, I ain't doing that. What? You have become a down and out vampire, milady. I am not carrying it. I'm sorry, which one of us is actually working to get you blood, hmm? Someone's here? We hear footsteps from outside while we're arguing with each other, and they are coming closer. What should we do? I look around the room. It seems we have nowhere to hide at all. We'll definitely be seen if whoever is outside decides to enter this place directly. Where? Hila points to behind the cur to the curtains behind, and I nod in response. Okay, we're just up like this. All right, so we hide behind the curtains. The amount of space is too cramped. I have to press both my arms against the wall and squeeze Hila between both arms. I also have to press myself as close to Hila as possible. To avoid forming any bulges in the curtains that may give us away. There is a joke there, but I am not gonna say it. <laughs> Yila lowers her head and she's blushing. Maybe I'm too close to her. Sorry. Alright, alright, fine. I'll be quiet. I'll shut my mouth. At this time, the footsteps stop outside, 
followed by two people talking, with the occasional boisterous laughter in between. It sounds as if they're chatting from somewhere near the door. Since we aren't certain what's going on outside, we can only do our best to maintain our awkward positions without moving. We are so- why are you getting closer? We are so close together, and I can spot a dark color mole on Yila's cheek. Oh, Yila's neck, easily. How did I mess that word up? A black dot is very obvious on her pure white skin. Looks like vampires don't have perfect complexions either. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that was more of a bite mark. Oh. As I lapse into a daydream while looking at that mole, I suddenly feel something jabbing at my chest. Upon returning to my senses, I realize Yila is glaring harshly at me, as if she intends to use that pair of purple eyes to poke my eyes out. I know I'm in the wrong, so I look away quickly. Click. Someone has opened the door. The footsteps gradually come closer. I quickly hold my breath. It stops somewhere nearby, and a gruff man's voice issues out next. This fella didn't close the window. I've had enough of him. Sounds like a security guard's voice. I'll show it to him tomorrow. And another guard a little further away is talking to him. Sheesh, if someone breaks in, we'll probably be the ones in trouble. Those people spend so many years in university. I wonder what kind of stuff and nonsense do they learn at all? Maybe all those smart Alex figured the law would automatically punish the bad guys. Humph, really, what a bunch of naive kids. One of them continues to come closer after they finish talking. My heart is racing from the sound of his shoes hitting the floor surface. The guard comes over to the window. I can't even see the side of his face through the edge of the curtains. Mother of Light, please protect me. Please don't turn. Please don't turn in this direction. Please don't look here. The guard turns to pull the curtains after he's closed the windows, and our eyes meet. Wah! Wah! I see that person's astonishment on his face, and he shouts in surprise. At around the same time. Uh-oh. What should I do? Surrender? Kneel down and beg for mercy? While my mind is blank, the air around me suddenly becomes, suddenly seems to be tearing itself apart, and that fierce gust of wind prompts me to shut my eyes instinctively. Ah! Who's there? Oh! I can hear a sort of chaotic noise. Noise is. The guards' cries and things getting toppled before the room becomes quiet again in just a few seconds. This. I open my eyes, draw back the curtains, and I'm greeted by an unexpected sight. Two security guards are lying motionless on the floor. Hila is licking her blood-stained lips while standing next to the guard further away, and she has those eyes that resemble a hungry wolf. It, it, it's me. Well, we're on the same side. My human instincts kick in and I become fearful when I see another fellow humankind end up as her prey. Especially when our eyes meet, I'm also worried that she will succumb to her inherent nature and kill me as well, so I hurriedly raise my arms. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm just covering my bases, you know? You, you can never be too careful in this day and age. You, uh, 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 are really a vampire. I'm a bit relieved when she recognized me, but I still can't stop my tongue from trembling. And it's, I'm, I'm still in the disbelief stage. Hila glances at me, and then turns to look at the guard lying on the floor. He, 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 he. I stammer and point at the two security guards. They are so huge. A single guard could easily defeat five people like me, let alone two of them. Why, yes I am. Thank you, thank you sir, for noticing. How am I doing, huh? Do you like it? No. Are, 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 are they dead? Hila actually can kill them in the blink of an eye. Huh? 
<laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know what? She, she's got me there. She's, she's kind of got me there. I see. Upon hearing her answer, I feel slightly relieved. Oh shit, we loot? Let's go. Time to loot. Search them. Uh, at once. My legs were a bit weak just now. Yes, I'm sorry, did you not see how big those men are? They're terrifying. These are instincts. Even a pig will feel fearful upon seeing one of its kind get killed. Okay, okay, fine, fair enough. I will I will hurry the search. I will grab their stuff, get their wallets. Yes, yes, right away. I kneel beside the nearest security guard and search through his pockets. This guy's a little crazy. Sometimes. Yila seems to be thinking wistfully. Uh, this is a wallet? Yeah, grab the wallet! I retrieve a small black purse from the guard's shirt pocket. It is well made of leather, containing several paper notes and cards. People of this age are really discerning. I stroke the wallet to feel its design before I keep it inside my trouser pocket. Alright, alright, give me a minute. I'm, I'm trying to pilfer as fast as I can. Yes, I find a bunch of keys from the guard's leather belt in no time. Every key looks rather similar, and it might take quite a while to try them all. Alright, let's go. I have the bunch of keys I hand. I I can read. I swear I can read. I wave the bunch of keys at Yila. <laughs> Alright, off we go. Yila strides excitedly, and I follow her with the keys. Right? It's this place. <laughs> this is where we steal the blood. Dun dun dun.